Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create stylish buttons that you can add into your real estate website. Buttons are great because for one, it can improve the navigation and user-friendliness of your website. Two, it can enhance the appearance of your website. And three, creating buttons is actually one way that you can improve your search engine optimization. Now, before we start, I'm going to show you one of the online tools that I use to create buttons, and this is dabuttonfactory.com. I'll have the website address on the screen here. And this online tool basically helps me with creating as many buttons as I want. So for example, if I wanted to create a button, it's just a matter of adding my text. and then playing around with the look and feel of the button. And this is a very good tool to use, especially if you're not tech savvy, if you don't have any background in using online creative tools. This tool can be used by anybody, whether you have basic or advanced design skills. And once you're done creating the button and you're happy with the way it looks, click on download and then click on save file. Press OK. Once you've saved a button, you can access the downloads folder of your browser and you will be able to locate where this is saved. So for now, we're going to close this and we're going to go back to our website. Now, before we access the dashboard to figure out where we're going to locate the button, the first step is to decide where this button is going to go when people click on it. So essentially the destination page. And in this case, I want it to go to a page on my website with different Toronto real estate properties. So what I'm going to do to retrieve that URL is to do a search myself and then type in the city that I want to direct it to. So this is the page that I want them to go to. I'm going to copy the URL from my website address bar. And then now we can access the dashboard by scrolling down to the very bottom and then clicking on user login, implementing our name or email and password, and then accessing our widgets manager page through content and then widgets manager. Now, remember, whenever you're dragging and dropping your widgets into the checkered areas of the page, before you do that, the first step is to go to the page that you want to edit. So in this case, if we're going to be adding the button to the front page of our website, we have to access the front page first. And then now it's just a matter of choosing the place that we want to add the button into, finding the text widgets from our widget toolbar up here, and then dragging the text widget into the checkered area. Now we're going to edit this widget. We're going to remove the subject line as well as the body. And then we're going to select the image icon. And then from here, we're going to upload the picture of the button that we initially created. We're going to browse for it on our desktop and it's going to be under downloads. And it's one of the buttons that we created. We're going to click on open and then we're going to send it to the server. Now, before you finish this step, we're going to add a keyword under alternative text. As I mentioned in the very beginning, adding buttons is also another way to improve your search engine optimization or SEO. So under alternative text, we're going to type in Toronto real estate. And then we're going to do the same thing under advanced. And then you're going to enter these keywords for ID and advisory title. Now, before you finish, keep in mind that we've only added the button as well as the keywords. We haven't added the link. So in this case, we're going to click on link and then we're going to paste the URL that we want users to go to when they click this button. So I'm going to paste the URL that I initially copied. And then once that is all completed, we can scroll down and press OK. You can also center this button, press save, close the dialog box. And just like that, we've added our button. Now, if you want to navigate out of the widgets manager page and want to see what this looks like in the front end of your website, you can just scroll down to the very bottom, click on back to dashboard, and then click on your website address URL up here. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to see the button that we just added. 